morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Hey, welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody. Today is Sunday and it's supposed to be 112, which means it'll be at least 115 here in sunny Arizona. Oh, crazy, crazy. Hey, you guys. Oh, last night I overate and I overate at 10.30 last night. Harry found the pork rind. So we each had a serving at 10.30 at night. And then I finished the rest of my steak. I only had half of my New York steak last night. So I had like four ounces. And I ate it at 10.30 at night. And then we went to bed. We didn't go to bed till 12.30. Because we were watching, have you guys ever watched the little uh, series Eureka about the town of all the brainiacs and stuff? So we've kind of been watching that, binge watching it. So we're watching that right now. And uh, yeah, so everything you eat the day before has a direct effect on what you eat today. Today is day seven of the carnivore challenge for Harry and I. Hope everybody's doing really good on the carnivore challenge. Some of you guys are losing weight. That's really exciting. Some of you, you know, are the same boat we are. Anyway, folks, let me get down to what we actually ate yesterday. So today, okay, so we had a 17 hour fast yesterday. We broke our fast with three scrambled eggs. I had two chicken sausages i ended up eating two harry had two chicken sausage as well he had his fried eggs three fried eggs on top of six ounces of ground beef you guys he had he had a meat lovers bowl oh it's perfect for me meat lover carnivore breakfast bowl was it perf was, was so the, good. It was the perfect breakfast. Because the fried eggs, the yolk blended down oh, yeah, through, so good. and I poured the b brown butter on oh, it. Yeah, yeah. And he had the sausage, and he said it was absolutely delicious, you guys, and very filling. So if you guys haven't done a, a carnivore meat lover's bowl, I suggest you guys try it. Had one tablespoon of butter, cooked my eggs in, tablespoon of butter for Harry. Later on, I had 170 grams of non-fat yogurt, and Harry did not have any yogurt because he tried to stay um, dairy-free yesterday, except for his, um, mm -mm. oh, heavy whipping cream still out. Got to put it away. Anyway, heavy whipping cream. So that's all he had as far as dairy. We each had a serving of pork rinds. I did measure them, but it was at 10.30 at night. We each had a New York steak for dinner. Mine was a 10 ounce, a little over 10 ounces, and I left four of them because I wasn't that hungry. Put a tablespoon of butter on them on top and they were yum dilly umptious. I came back at 10.30, finished the rest of my steak. What did I have for dinner? You had a New York steak with a teaspoon oh, of butter. Oh, you didn't bring it up, so I. Was I wasn't. Worried. I wasn't through with it. Oh, okay. I was over. But thank you, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Because I do tend to forget where I'm at, and he has to bring me back on track. Anyway, he had a New York steak with a tablespoon of butter. We each had two scoops of collagen, and two. Uh, I had two tablespoons of cream, and he had four teaspoons of cream. Cream is the only thing, like I said, that's dairy that he's eating right now. We each had stevia in our coffee, and then we drank sparkling water the rest of the time. So, <clears throat> yesterday, you guys, I went up a whole pound. I know it's water weight. Pork rinds have regular chemical salt that's processed, white, bleached chemical salt. Plus, I had the four ounces of steak at 10.30 at night, right? Harry went down, you guys. He didn't have any cheese. He had a full dinner. He had pork rinds with me at 10.30. He went down. He went down two tenths of a point. So that's awesome. You know what you forgot to tell what I had last night? What? Did you tell him I had the sausages? <gasps> no, I didn't. And he had three chicken sausages last night, too. Should I put them right here? Yeah, put them right there. Yeah, I'll put them. Yeah, but 10.30, he had the rest of those chicken sausage. Well, he was, like, helping me along in my I badness. felt sorry for her, and I didn't want her to eat alone. Yes. So I thought, okay, I'll eat something, too. So I ate the three sausages. 
at 10.30 at night. I think there was four. Was there four? I thought there was three. I think I ate four. Well, he had chicken sausages at 10.30 at night. I had four ounces of New York steak. We had pork rinds. But. We had, we had a carnivore meat fest at 10.30 at night. But I want you to notice what all I ate, but I didn't have any cheese, and I went down. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So. Or I didn't have any dairy except for a little bit just of a little bit of cream let's go to your big board can you explain time the big for the board? big board time for the big board I explained it all yesterday right so i went up a pound we'll put what we eat here today which really helps out because see i can see like you look at this thing and i can go okay look okay if i lost weight here what did i eat what did i eat that day I can go back and I can go travel all the way back and see what I've been losing weight on. You should put no cheese then because you put you know? cheese here and you should put no cheese here. Yeah, I went up two pounds that day too. So you notice I ate cheese that day and I went up two pounds. Yeah, pull it out a little bit so people can see. Yeah. Okay, so anyway. So yeah, folks, I need to put no cheese there. Anyways. I have got New York steak out, and I think this was a um, London broil steak out. Mom's coming for dinner. We're having steak. I'm going to give her some kind of veggie with hers. I pulled out some of the Teton. Oh, yeah. All 100% all natural grass fed beef Polish sausage. So, we're going to do something a little bit different for breakfast today. Here, back up just a little bit. Let me get the rest of the stuff out that we're going to do. So we are going total caveman carnivore. We're having hamburger patties and all beef sausage for breakfast. We're not having eggs. There's a name for that. I just said caveman carnivore. Is that the name? I could have for thought what? there was another name for that. For, for what? Eating way back, they had another name caveman. for it. Caveman. No, I heard another name today. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let us I know when you, what it is. when you when you remember it. Write it down. Yeah. <laughs> so we don't forget. Uh huh. Anyway, I'm gonna probably make four patties out of this. I am putting cheese on mine. Not me. And then I'm cooking the Polish sausage in our air fryer, and we'll come back when we break our fast. But right now, it'll probably be 12:30. So. Uh, 1230, 1230 is because we went to bed, not 1030, 1230. It'll be like a 14 hour fast today. So anyway, folks, we'll see you guys when we break our fast. Hamburger patties and Polish sausage style. What are you doing, honey? Hold up the beef tallow that we've got in that little jar because that's what I'm going to cook them in. Well, I'm cutting up this, this here slabs of, of uh, stuff. Of meat? Yeah. Well, see the tallow right there, honey? Yeah. Can you just show them, everybody, how much we got? So that's our beef tallow. I'm going to put a big old hunk of it in the bowl, and we are going to have... Harry's going to make some... Can you pour a little beef tallow in there? Oh, my hands are covered in stuff. Okay, so... Stuff. Ooh, you're na naughty. Anyway, folks, he's making the burgers. I'm going to put them in there, and I'm going to fry them, and I'll then I'll get... you on them, man. Not very thick because you want them a little bit rounder so they fit in the pan. They gotta fit in the pan, Harry. Well, gotta fit in the, the pan. pan and I'll start putting them but in wait, the pan. you can't. I gotta put tallow in. Just a minute, folks. I gotta go put some tallow in. Okay, Harry, lay them gently in there. These? Yes, be very careful because that's gonna get hot. Well, now look how you put it. How many are gonna fit in there? One. Two? Okay, we'll put the other one. Monkey, if you get two in there. Where are you gonna hide, Chinsky? Hey, I I wasn't there that day in cooking school on pan. Push it to the side and put another one in there. On Make my. Okay, put the lid on. <laughs> Beat it! Beat it to death! There you go. You washing your hands? Yeah. Yeah. I noticed you shaved. Not. Yesterday. Uh huh. All right. Love your hairdo. So pretty. Thank you. So pretty. How much does it cost me? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Let me fix this, you guys. Look, I get this he's one got for the free. he's got the pan all wonky and everything else. Okay, Harry. I'm so. Get this look for free. You get that look for free? For free. It didn't cost me anything. You're right. 
Here, can you can you come to me so I can get our Polish sausage in, Mr. Polak? How apropos. How's the back of my hair look? No wonder my hair always looks like crap. It looks you good, huh? Hair, Marty. I'm combing it. Okay. Uh-huh. Hey you guys. Did you put uh, any greasy stuff in there? No. They don't need it. They're gonna be just fine. Mmm, you guys, these are so good. I can these almost see what the heck is going on here. Well, I'm trying to get these puppies out, and they're just being, they're not cooperating with me. There you go. You gotta be forceful. You do. You gotta tear the plastic. Okay, there you go, kids. Everybody's in? Are you marked? It's in. Go. I was going to make a suggestion. What? Stop grabbing that thing by the lip. One of these days you're going to grab it and you're going to burn your fingers off. I don't know what the lip is. You go like this and you grab it. Oh, the heating I, elements up I, in there. Oh, you've I done that it? about five, six Oops. times. Okay, you guys, I got beef cooking. We'll come back when it's breakfast caveman style. So, you guys, I bought these. Um, they're supposed to be splash. Because I just had the lid on. Look at it when I opened it up, it splashed everywhere. So I don't know if these are better now. I put this on instead of the lid because when I lift, lifted the lid, look what it did. It splashed grease everywhere. I love your hair, Harry. That's so cute. Yes. You making more patties? Got to shape them better. Honey, that's not a good shape. It's what's that? Good. What do you mean, what's wrong with it? Make it rounded, nice and firm and rounded. I like them really thick. And you I know, like but this all blobbed out, man. No, I don't. Blobbed out. Okay, honey. Yeah, some raw beef. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. She's so cute. Back out on his flat. That tallow looks really nice to cook it in. Hamburger or go go. I think I like the lid on it better than that. Yeah, me too. It's easier to clean the lid. He's as seen on TV things, not so, not so much. That's why you see him on TV. Yeah. And, and not in your house. Let me check the Tetons. Let me check them. Ooh, Robo's puppies around. Look at them dudes in there. Yeah. Kind of separate them a little. Come on. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Did I do it right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. That's windy. Ugh. Pull that over. Okay, let's put some little salt and pepper. We didn't put any salt and pepper on them. You want a little pepper on yours? Takes quite a bit of turns because our pepper's on so fine. Do you like a little bit of Byron's butt rub? Yes. Why? Byron's butt rub? Because a little bit of butt rub makes everything better. I love saying that and he knows it. I don't think you're crazy. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. I am. Oh. Perfect timing. Uh, yes. Look yes. At that. Oh, there's mine right there, man. Mm. I'm going to put these. Put them in there. I am. So I'm going to put these hamburger bad boys right in here in the juice. Yeah. Ooh. It tastes fabulous. Yeah. Especially since I put them together perfectly. Yes, you did. Perfect. Perfection. Perfection. If I could talk her into making me chocolate now, buns, it'd be great. 
Well, you can't have cheese, you said. What's I got? That, oh, that's you right, got, huh? Yeah, that's right. That's right, man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can't you make it without cheese? Can I have a little? No, it's cheese and eggs. That's the whole recipe. I think you should try. And then there'll be eggs. Oh, it might taste pretty good. No. Can I get a little plate and then we're going to eat? So here, I'll share everybody with this, but I'm only going to have one of these, you guys. Look at this. Ooh, break fast caveman yeah, carnivore man. style Loving right it. there. Loving except it. for my cheese. Smile. Ah. So we cooked the other two burgers in the air fryer, and I think I like them better cooked that way. And there's my other uh, Teton. Because look at this, you guys. This just, there's grease everywhere. It's a messy, greasy mess. So air fryer is awesome because all you have is that to clean, you guys. I love my air fryer, I'm telling you. Love it. So those will be burgers for later or tomorrow. What's up? Oh man, Harry and I just got through cleaning all the grease up. Harry did all the dishes. He's a good boy. Cleaned the stove off, used vinegar, white vinegar and water because it really does cut through the grease. Washed the counters down. <sighs> it's like we did the main kitchen stuff we normally do every night. We had to do it now because it was just so... for two hamburger patties yeah it was bad i cooked the other patties in the air fryer you guys that's the way to go i'm not doing meat on the stove because it was just everywhere it really was either out on the grill when it gets cooler or in the air fryer at least for us that's what we're doing hey yeah. you guys um yesterday i walked i walked for 20 minutes i did two 10 minute walks i did my arm exercises and I did my counter push-ups and my, my squats that I do like this. I do those and I do the um, the uh, push-ups. I got yeah. a dress on, so. Half push-ups, yeah. Push-ups on my counter. So I did everything yesterday. Went in the jacuzzi. Tonight I think I'm gonna do sauna, but I'm gonna go walk right now for at least 10 minutes, but I'm gonna change because I've got a dress on. Pardon me, and I've got sandals that just slip onto my feet, so can't walk in those. And um, but I just wanted to let you guys know, hey, a lot of you guys are walking. That's great. You're either walking outside, like Shastity. You're walking on a treadmill. You guys are doing um, elliptical. You know, you guys are working out, and that's awesome. Great job, you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna go walk. I'm gonna go change my clothes, put on some grungy shorts, put on a pair of tennis shoes. And I'm going to go walk. See everybody in a little bit. Ooh, 2.5. Woo! Here you're hey, rubbing up, man. I'm on the road. Hey, show them the Bowflex weights. Well, we have Bowflex weights, and it goes from 5 pounds to 50 pounds. And they're super great because they fit in a small space. Of course, I'm on 5 pounds. And 3 pound little dumbbell, dumbo dumbbells. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to walk. I'm going to watch some TV so I don't get bored. And then I'm going to lift some weights. So I'll call Harry when I'm done walking. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. And uh, we'll come back when I do some arm weights. So I did a 15-minute walk. And now I'm doing my arm weights. These are 5 pounds. Yeah, they are adjustable. And I'm just going to sit here and go through my whole reps. I do one rep of 10 so far, you guys. I have such weak arms that it'll take me a while to build up. Huh, Harry? Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race as far as weights are concerned. And I'll see everybody in a little bit. Okay, everybody. I am cooking. I've got steak out. Lots of steak. And I'm just going to put it in the air fryer. And we're going to have steak for dinner. Mom's here. I'm going to cook her a little bit of broccoli to give her some steak and broccoli for dinner. <coughs> Walked on my treadmill, did my arms after dinner and after mom leaves. I'm going to get in the sauna. And probably before I get in the sauna, I'll walk 15 more minutes. So I get a half an hour in on the walker, on the treadmill, excuse me, on the treadmill. Anyway, folks, let me get these into the air fryer and we'll come back when it's steak. 
Okay, you guys, our steak is gonna beep in a minute. Let's just take a peek to see. Oh yeah, I think it's pretty well done. So let me get yours. Ooh, yeah. Delicious. Put this back in the container. Let's get this all ready to go, shall we? Salt there. Mm-hmm. Would you like some pepper on yours? Yes, please. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? Yep. How many minutes, Harry, does it need to rest? Five. That's right. I'm training him, you guys. He'll be a great chef one day. Okay, everybody, if you guys, tonight, like I said, after we get through eating and my food digests about 7 o'clock, I'm going to um, hit the treadmill for 15 more minutes, and I'm going to get in my sauna or are we gonna do jacuzzi again i'm doing jacuzzi jacuzzi we're gonna do jacuzzi again and i saw 120. how is it yeah 120 we're getting in the jacuzzi that is cool it's under 100 so it should feel really good you guys so let me get in and i'll see you guys in there yeah it's like 97 in there. yeah 97. so like getting in cold water so i'm in i'm in the jacuzzi got a little mesquite treat we got a we got to trim this mesquite tree. It's too full, and then when we get really high winds, it's going to break some of the branches. So we've got to get some of that heaviness out. If you can see it behind me, Harry, I'm going to push the button. Yep. Push it. There it goes. There we go. Woo guys it feels so good it's like just under 100 degrees in here outside ambient temperature it's almost 120 this is like the hottest part of the day in Arizona yeah which is craziness and this just feels like just wonderful and she's sitting in the sun I'm sitting in the sun my back's to the sun I mean, yeah yeah so anything you want to say about keto um uh, no oh look air bubble <laughs> Ooh, hear that? Whoops! It's my shirt. I got a two-piece on, and the shirt gets air trapped in the lining of it. So, anyway, folks, we'll see everybody tomorrow. Just wanted to share a little bit of the jacuzzi here at the end, just to share. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up, you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Harry, you've got to let this rest. Butter's falling though. Butter cannot fall off the steak.